Hello my beautiful Cancerians, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. We're getting ready to clarify your four part love reading. It will be followed and time stamped as such. So let's jump in here, Cancer. I like the beginning of this reading. The overall energy that we're gonna clarify is the Page of Pentacles. So that is an offer, it's a small offer, but an offer nonetheless. So that is Virgo energy, let's look and see what we have here and why that is the energy of this reading. We have Justice card balancing the scales of Fairness Libra energy. So something needs to be balanced out here. We also have Four of Cups. So this is a relationship that looks like it's been in a bit of trouble for a while. The Four of Cups is Cancerian energy. So Cancer, there you are in your reading and you look sad and lonely at the moment. Why is the Emperor card here for the mutual energy between you and your love interest in the recent past? That is being very strategic, Aries energy. The Four of Pentacles, holding on to one another. Not letting go, it's, it's a card of being sort of jealous, of possession, or possessive. The Star card, boy, both of you see one another as your rock star of love. That is Aquarius energy. Look at this. We have the Two of Cups energy. It speaks to the fact that both of you are very much in love with each other. Two hearts beating as one. We have the Tower card. So that is a current energy. That Tower card is Aries energy, and it speaks to a foundation falling apart. The Eight of Coins energy says that the clarifier is, is that that tower is going to be rebuilt. Well, that's great news. I like it. It's good reading, Virgo energy. Hard work. We have the tower card clarifying the tower card, so it may not be easy. It looks like this is a big shock that's going on currently that you didn't expect. We have the heart of pentacles, queen of pentacles energy. So there is a strong element of nurturing one another in this relationship. It is basically the mommy energy being very reliable. That, that's the Capricorn queen, quote unquote queen. Um, but it really says that you have what it takes to rebuild the relationship. We also get the Twin Flame card. That is the number 22. It's unique to this deck. I have no other deck that has this card. It is 1111. So it does speak to the fact that you are not only soulmates but twin flames. The Eight of Swords energy of self-imposed restriction is where your partner's at right now in terms of this relationship. That is Gemini energy and Three of Swords is clarifying that. There is a circumstance, person, place, thing, or uh, issue at hand that is keeping the two of you apart. What does that Three of Swords represent? Why is your person taking action? Two of Wands, they are at a crossroads in their life. Ten of Wands, good news, giving up the burdens. And a new beginning, the Fool card, Aquarius Energy. So it does look like your person's going to come out of that self-imposed restriction soon. Again, that's Aquarius energy. The Two of Coins is how your person views you. They feel as though, ooh, look at that. They feel as though you have someone else and that you may be juggling them with the Three of Swords. So what I'm the conclusion I'm coming to here is that you've been in separation. It looks like, you know, you've been in separation with that tower card. Could have been a year, could have been the tower is 16, could be 16 days, 16 weeks, 16 months. But we see that your person is very jealous. They feel as though you could be juggling more than one lover. The five of swords, though, says that your person views you as someone who will probably be angry for what happened in this relationship. Your person feels as though they caused you or forced you into a situation that you do not like. And the Five of Swords is that, you know, you were treated badly. They view you as the devil energy. So, you know, it really says that they're kind of obsessed with it, that you may be obsessed with them. 
that's a really rough reading. I mean, we get the movement of wands. So your person's very attracted to you. They feel as though the two of you were not a match in the past, but obviously twin flame soulmates are going to reunite, or at least your person wants to make an effort. They definitely feel as though you are not going to give them a hall pass on some toxic treatment. Uh, the movement of wands means that they feel as though you, you know, you just may not want them back, that you that they treated you badly, that they think that you juggled them, or they juggled you. The Queen of Wands, why is the Queen of Wands in the heart space here? That's Aries energy. The Two of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Why is Aries energy in their heart? The Ten of Coins. So your person feels in their heart space that they want to marry the Queen of Wands. He is somebody with a lot of fire, but that's how they feel in their belly about you. Um, they feel as though you're the one. The Ace of Swords is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We get your person in this player energy, though. I would be very careful. They look like they're coming in and out here. They may, you know, you, you may realize that they could be, you know, still in this player mode because we see the way or the path forward is the, the Knight of Wands again. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands. It is clarified by the Empress card. They think that you're the best of the best, but... The Knight of Wands doesn't get to be with the Empress. Why is that Empress card here clarifying the Knight of Wands? The Three of Coins. The Three of Coins you may have worked together in the past, but it speaks to the fact that your person wants to collaborate with you. They want to grow in the relationship with the Empress card. The Heart of Wands. Wow, again. Okay. So we have the Queen of Wands twice. So it looks like your person feels as though you would want to marry them, but they're still not in that energy. Tell us more about this person's energy as they come towards our Cancer friends. The Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is Taurus energy, more stable. Okay, I don't like the Knight of Wands. So Six of Wands. Your person wants to have a victory with you. I would be careful here. Six of Swords, your person does want to move the relationship forward. They want to heal the relationship. They want to balance it. You're really in this energy, though, of not being sure. You're very cautious right now. The Ace of Wands is hidden between the two of you. And the Eight of Swords says that both of you want the passion and both of you are in this Gemini energy of holding back, no contact. That's what I'm seeing right now. No contact by choice. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Different cards. Both, both of you not speaking to the other. The Temperance card, Spirit is recommending that the two of you work things out evenly have some balance have some optimism archangel raphael is protecting this relationship the universe says that the two of you need to come back together to work things out to move forward why is temperance card here though with the world card or the universe card why is temperance here look at this energy the lovers card gemini again there is a lot of Gemini energy here, folks. So, you know, it's just an energy, but it means that there will be a lot of discussion, a lot of talking. The beautiful lover's card sitting right there next to Temperance. So I'm, what I'm seeing here is a reconciliation for you. It does look delayed, though. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Could still be a matter of time before it comes together. The star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true. It's a spiritual card of healing. It speaks to the fact that both of you adore each other. The moon card says that you really love each other. The outcome, though, is uncertain because the moon is, you know, smoky trails and what you can't see in the night, the things that scare you. The Ace of Cups, so look at that. That's your energy, Cancer. Water energy, the two of you love each other. It's a new beginning in love with the Fool card. It's here. Twin flame, soulmate, wow, soulmate, high levels of sexual 
tension and energy. We have the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. When we get the Aces, we can look backwards at the timing for this. Um, and we can look at, could be 17 hours, the 17th of the month, 17 days, 17 weeks, worst case scenario, 17 months. But usually the major arcana is days or weeks typically. It's not even usually months. That's usually saved from uh, minor arcana. Okay. So what's the last uh, clarifier we need here for this star card? It looks like you're getting this brand new beginning in love. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. That is like the, the fairy godmother who arranges a coach for you to go to the ball. If speaking of passion, it looks like you're going to have a really great, sensual, sexy kind of reunion. <clears throat> so we're going to look at your best course of action for this reading. What is the best course of action in this situation? What should you do, not do, whatever the, whatever spirit recommends? Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. Okay. So the time's going to come when you are going to speak up. You're going to say what you will and won't do. Uh, surrender now, moth spirit. Surrender to whatever is going to happen here. Don't try to control it or direct it. Wait and see what your person says to you. And let spirit be your guide. So use your intuition. We did have two more that popped up here, so I'm going to take them. Be generous of spirit. Okay, so keep an open mind. And time for a deep dive. Well, that's going to be you asking a lot of questions, which is reasonable, right? Let's see what else. What does destiny have to say for your advice here? The cards of destiny, what do they have to say in terms of your actions? Unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be. All right, let's get one more card here to help you in this path. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. All right. So we're also now going to look at the um, the hindrances or the, um, let's see, help or hindrance. Okay, what are the things that can help you or hinder you in this journey at this time? Okay, so what do we, what do we have? We have a powerful move. Okay. So somebody's going to make a powerful move, and it looks like it's very helpful to the relationship and rebuilding that fallen tower, reuniting twin flames, opening to, okay, open to discovery. So keep an open mind. That was really implied over here, too. Don't jump to any conclusions. Don't think the worst. So this is going to help you and also shining through. Have faith. Have faith that your person is good. Have faith in a spiritual evolution and revolution. Now let's look and see what your spirit, what your person's favorite things that they notice about you. What do they like best about you, Cancer? Let's see what we have here. All right, so what do we have for cancer in terms of what your person likes best? They love the fact that you are feisty, five of wands. You're, you're good, you're spirited, you're willing to fight for what you want. You, you play fairly, but you definitely are willing to get in there and speak your mind and hold your ground. We see the Queen of Cups, Cancer. There you are in your reading, Queen of Cups energy. They love how much you love, how deeply you love. The Three of Swords means that they feel very grateful that even though they broke your heart, that you would consider taking them back. They're very grateful for that. The Queen of Swords energy says that they, your person really knows that you have a very sharp intellect. They can't BS you. They can't play games. That you're going to stay very balanced with that Libra energy. You will judge them fairly, but you will judge them indeed. And they do like that. They like the fact that you're super smart. The Page of Swords, they like the fact that you 
Um, you know, you try to find them on the internet. They like the fact that you tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But they also like that you are very diligent in your capacity to learn. The magician card, they see you as someone who can manifest and make magic. That's also the card of chemistry, sexual chemistry, emotional chemistry. The two of you, you they feel as though you have all the tools to do whatever you need in life. The Three of Pentacles, they feel as though you are a very good partner, that you'll be a good person to collaborate with. You may have met this person at work. The Hermit card, they really love the fact that you are not afraid to be alone, that you have the courage to be alone. They also love the fact that you might forgive them. The Ten of Swords says you getting past the fact that this person stabbed you in the back. They don't expect it. They're very hopeful. They do see you as a forgiving person, but certainly that you would expect them to step up into the King of Pentacles. And your person does look like they're very comfortable. They look like they're very comfortable financially, and it does look like they like the fact that you would require them to be their best uh, bring their best self to the table. So Cancer, sending you love from Chicago, send some back. Tell me if you like the format of the reading. I'll continue if you do. And tell me where you're from. Take care, Cancer. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.